Thank you for tuning in. In front of me, I have the Inspire One, and I wanted to do this video because I'm really excited about this product from Skyzamir. Now, Skyzamir is a company out of Slovenia, and I had seen this product called the Stork a while back, and I reached out to them, and Monica and her team at Skyzamir were generous enough to send me this product, and I'll do a quick demonstration of installing this. This will be my first time and then we'll see how it actually operates. So if you're not familiar with this Dork product, it's really uh, a simple and in my mind, pretty ingenious design of a payload drop system. These will mount to the arms of the Inspire One, connect, and then you use the landing gear of the Inspire One to basically deploy any payload that you have hanging from the system. So as part of the kit, we get a nice color printed instruction manual. You guys know how important these things are and how many times you'll get something that doesn't include a manual. So I'm glad to see that. Have a little hex wrench here. And then basically the simple stork system, they're going to fit together like this or when we retract the gear, they'll pull apart and the payload will drop. With our landing gear down, the first thing we'll need to do is detach the X3 camera. The next thing I'll do is just go ahead and remove these screws from the clamps. We're going to put our stork in place. Now, it's important that when we do, according to the instructions, we want the metal rod to be on the front side of the arm. So this single rod will go on the right leg and then the double-sided or the fork will go on the left. So I'll go ahead and get these clamps in place. Okay, so I have these mounted now not too tight so you can see that I can move them up and down and we're going to go ahead and get them in place and then tighten these screws. To get these in the right place, what we'll do is this wrench, according to the instructions, I've measured it, it's 20 millimeters on this short arm. So we're going to put it up against this plastic arm holder and then just slide this side of the stork up to the other end of the wrench. So we have about 20 millimeter spacing on this arm and we'll do the same over here. So go ahead and slide that up. And I have these tightened up just enough so this will stay in place. And with those spaced at 20 millimeters off the arm, let's take a look underneath. You can see that you want that single rod to be in between the double rod so that's come together nicely. Make sure we keep the clamp in place and we'll go ahead and tighten all of our screws to get everything nice and snug. Got everything tightened up and definitely staying in place. Okay, the last test that we're going to do before we actually test the stork in the air is we're going to convert to travel mode and then we'll go out of travel mode just to make sure that everything looks okay. So here we go. All right, that looks good. Now we'll go back into landing mode. Not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome. Very simple design, but appears to work well. I mounted my camera back on and fired up DJI Go. One thing that I don't think was mentioned in the instructions is you're going to want to disable the automatic landing gear. So that's gonna be up here, down here in advanced settings, and then automatic landing gear is turned on. We wanna disable that. Otherwise the stork will automatically deploy when we take off and that's not what we want. So I'll go ahead and accept that. Okay, as you guys can probably see, I've just kinda of hacked together a little ball drop scenario that's a lacrosse ball mounted to the stork and then I'll go up over the bucket see if I can hover and then I'll pitch the uh, camera down see if I can deploy the ball into the bucket and so I'm over where I think I'm gonna try to deploy so I'm gonna go ahead and engage the stork actually let me go left just a little bit All right, here we go. We're gonna deploy now. Oh, almost made it in. I hit the edge of the bucket. You can see the stork with the landing gear retracted. And I'll go ahead and bring it back down so you can see it come together. Uh -huh. 
And let me leave you guys with just one last thing. We're currently beta testing this feature in drone blocks, but what we're going to do is introduce a block that's compatible with the Stork accessories. So you'll be able to take off, fly forward, raise your landing gear, and do all sorts of stuff. So the thought is it would be really cool to do some autonomous challenges like what I just did, trying to drop the ball in the bucket, but allowing students to do these games or challenges with drone blocks and the Stork accessory attached. So that's currently in beta, and I'll definitely do a field demo when we get that everything sorted out. Looking forward to doing some more testing. I'm sure you guys can come up with more creative uses of the payload drop system, but I just wanted to put together this video that shows how to install it how to use it and be sure to check out skies Amir. i don't think they sell this directly they have some different uh, dealers of the stork system if you guys have any questions or comments please post them below and until next time thanks for watching